The doctor is in. Today we're welcoming Dr. Johnson Haynes Jr. from USA Health to talk about how current therapies are impacting the life of individuals with sickle cell disease. Dr. Haynes, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. And you are a sickle cell expert, as we were just talking. So tell folks who don't know, what exactly is sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease is a disease that's inherited uh, that affects the red blood cells, the protein inside of red blood cells called hemoglobin. And uh, the primary function of that hemoglobin is to deliver oxygen. And it does not do it normally. And when it unloads, the cells will sickle and block uh, uh, the small blood vessels, causing pain. And who is primarily impacted by this disease? In the United States of America, the predominant population is African Americans. We have a growing Hispanic population. But let me just say, it is not just limited to those two populations. Uh, if you take individuals uh, whose, hair, whose lineage is in, in and around the Mediterranean, uh, Italy, Greece, uh, South America, uh, Egypt, uh, so forth and so on, it is uh, the, the disease affects far more individuals than just blacks and black and brown people. Right. Okay, so let's talk about some of the advances in treating sickle mm -hmm. cell disease. Okay. Well, there's been a, a in the last several years, uh, there have been at least three new drugs that have come uh, uh, out of pharmaceutical clinical trials that are now in the uh, in physicians' armamentarium in terms of treating the disease. Uh, these drugs uh, are called disease modifiers. They don't cure the disease, but they change the pathophysiology of how the disease man uh, manifests. Okay, and I know we are going to be talking on Facebook Live at 1230, but there are a lot of exciting things happening with gene therapy as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, gene therapy is that chance for cure. Oh, wow. Yes. And that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How far away do you think we are from a cure? Mm. I know that's a million dollar question. That's a million dollar question and I probably have won the Nobel Prize if I knew the exact answer and how to do it. But it's likely, uh, it will be years ahead of us. But uh, ongoing gene therapy, bone marrow transplant, stem cell transplants are actually being done today. They're just not, they've not become the standard of care. All right, we're going to talk so much more about this. It's such an interesting topic with Dr. Johnson Haynes, Jr. with USA Health. Again, 1230 on Facebook Live. Dr. Haynes, thanks so much for being our guest thanks today. Thanks for having me, Devon.